everyone, I'm Antonia from Heimdall and I'm back with another very requested topic. In today's video, I'll guide you through identifying and understanding a critical component of any organization, privileged accounts, pinpointing which ones need your immediate attention and explaining why securing these accounts is not only best practice but a top priority. Privileged accounts are special user accounts with elevated permissions that are essential for managing IT systems. They are used to install new software or hardware, to run critical services, access highly confidential data, or to conduct maintenance operations. Some privileged accounts are associated with employees' identities, while others are tied to contractors, vendors, machines, and applications. The credentials linked to privileged accounts are known as privileged credentials. Organizations rely on privileged accounts to enhance operational efficiency and productivity. However, this same accounts, if left vulnerable, become targets for hackers who exploit them to infiltrate networks, get access to critical systems, and steal sensitive information, often remaining undetected for extended periods. For these reasons, privileged accounts require special audit attention and management. There are various types of privileged accounts, and they can be both on-premises and in the cloud. Let's take a look at some of them. These accounts have unrestricted access and control over all components within a domain, including the ability to make changes, delegate roles, and access all data. They are typically used by sysadmins for high-level management of server infrastructure and are critical to protect as they can be used to escalate privileges across a network. Companies should strive to minimize the number of domain administrator accounts who has access to them and place all of them under privileged access management. These accounts exist on individual devices or servers and have complete control over all settings and files on that system. Unlike domain admin accounts, their privileges are restricted to the local machine they reside on. These are specialized user accounts created to provide authentication for applications and services within a domain. They facilitate automated processes such as running scheduled tasks, services that require access to network resources, or applications that need to communicate with other services or databases. Often confused with domain service accounts, these accounts are used for operating system services and server applications. Service accounts can have different levels of uh, privilege, from minimal permissions for basic applications to extensive privileges for services that perform critical functions. These are accounts created for the sole purpose of emergency access, allowing admins to gain access to the system if normal and administrative accounts are unusable. Their use is highly restricted and monitored, and they typically have strong password policies and are kept disabled if they are not in use. These accounts are used specifically by applications to access databases, run batch jobs or scripts, or provide services to other applications. They are usually configured with just enough privileges to perform their required tasks. Tasks. Cloud accounts are used to manage resources in cloud environments such as Google Cloud. They can have extensive permissions to deploy, manage, and terminate cloud resources and are critical to secure as cloud environments can be a target for attackers due to the vast amounts of information stored. How do we protect these critical accounts? With PAM, of course. A privileged access management solution is essential for safeguarding privileged accounts. By enforcing strict authentication authentication methods, monitoring and recording sessions in real time, and employing the principle of least privilege, a PAM solution minimizes the attack surface. It effectively reduces the risk of unauthorized access and contains the potential damage from data breaches by isolating, managing, and closely controlling privileged accounts activities. Find out more about this security technology by watching our previous video and read all about it on our blog here. Also, make sure you check out Heimdall spam solution here. Thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, share it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you next week.